New question, the member from Halton. Speaker, my, um, my question is to the Minister of Economic Development and Trade. Uh, speaker, the Liberal government's method of shoveling money out the door with abandon is catching up with them. The auto sector is in real crisis and they need a responsible partner in government. They need a partner that can help the whole industry, that protects workers, and that encourages innovation with a competitive tax structure. Now, that might mean that the that's cricket clubs won't get million-dollar handouts anymore, and that's too bad. Instead, it means that corporate subsidies will come with conditions. They'll come based on good research and careful planning, not on the whim of the Premier and his minister. Minister, recent events have clearly revealed that your auto sector investment strategy is simply not working, and Ontarians are concerned that $650 million of their hard-earned tax dollars have vanished into thin air. Yet all you can do is sing your own praises. If you are so confident in your programs, will you commit today on calling on the Auditor General to perform a special value for money audit? Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Speaker. I find it very interesting that one member of the Conservative caucus says one thing, but another says something else. And, and I would just here. like them to come together as a caucus, perhaps involve their one leader, position. and decide what position today they're going yeah. to take on support for the automotive sector. The member from Oshawa says one thing. Uh, the, the member nearby in Ajax Whippy says another. Quote, I wouldn't dismiss another provincial investment out of hand, especially where I come from. General Motors is the primary employer. That's Christine Elliott, last month, 2008. I think it's important that they be given whatever support that they can give. Again, that's Christine Elliott. I mean, please pick a side. Are you on the side of GM? Are you on the side of workers? Or are you just an irrelevant party with an irrelevant position? <laughs> Supplementary. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, we can't believe what this minister says anymore. You can be as loud as you want, give as mean looks and point your finger everywhere you want. But, you get, but that won't change the fact that this Liberal government deals with GM and other manufacturers are very suspect. And it won't change the fact that under your watch, thousands of auto workers have been left out in the cold. You have been secretive about this for months, and your figures regarding contracts and job guarantees are in constant flux. Whether you're in front of the media, at the committee, or answering questions in this House, you continuously demonstrate that you do not fully grasp the complex details of your portfolio. Exactly. All you can do is stand there with anger in your eyes Get and decry the opposition for opposing Phillips. you. Minister, you are clearly in over your head. It is time to seek guidance. Will you call for a special audit of your automotive investment strategy today and give Ontarians the satisfaction they deserve? Question. Thank you. Well, I guess it does continue because the leader in the House for the Conservative Party said getting involved in the investment side of new technology and innovation, I think, is an appropriate role for government. Bob Runciman, June 5th. That was just the other day. So let me say again, which half of the caucus are you on? Are you on the half that is opposed to the auto sector? Are you on the half that is supporting the automotive sector? And I would like to say to this member in particular, we have had investment programs that are working, and in fact they're working in this member's own backyard. And I would encourage this member to look in his own backyard for real jobs that have come to Halton as a result of the programs of this Ontario government, and I will be sending your voting record to the very people that you purport to support. <laughs>